Welcome to Gain Explains. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering character descriptions. Your characters are the heartbeat of your story. They bring the plot to life, turning the events into something real and meaningful. Without well-developed characters, even the most thrilling plot can fall flat. Don't hit, hit the, the pause, pause button. button. A common mistake many young writers make when describing a character is to hit the pause button on the story, dump a load of information about the character all at once, and then unpause to continue the plot. This disrupts the flow of the story and can pull readers out of the moment, making it frustrating to read. Instead, skilled writers describe the character as the story is taking place. This enables readers to learn about the character naturally as events unfold. JK Rowling does this really well in Harry Potter, particularly when describing young Harry while he's living with the Dursleys. You learn about his untidy hair, his glasses and small size through the way he is treated by this very unfriendly family. Perhaps it had something to do with living in a dark cupboard, but Harry had always been small and skinny for his age. He looked even smaller and skinnier than he really was because all he had to wear were old clothes of Dudley's, and Dudley was about four times bigger than he was. Harry had a thin face, knobbly knees, black hair and bright green eyes. He wore round glasses held together with a lot of scotch tape because of all the times Dudley had punched him on the nose. The only thing Harry liked about his own appearance was a very thin scar on his forehead that was shaped like a bolt of lightning. He had had it as long as he could remember, and the first question he could ever remember asking his Aunt Petunia was how he had gotten it. By keeping the story going while describing Harry, the reader stays hooked and it doesn't feel as if the story has been paused at all. This makes it seem more natural, like the character is part of the action, rather than just a bunch of facts thrown in. Here's a character description I've just written about a new student joining his class for the first time. As the teacher called for quiet, the classroom door opened. It was the new student, tall and broad-shouldered, his muscular frame hinted at hidden strength. His school uniform looked half forgotten. His tie hung loosely around his neck, more like an afterthought than part of the dress code. And instead of the regulation black shoes, he sported ankle-high boots. His sharp green eyes flickered with a mix of arrogance and mischief, giving the impression that trouble always followed close behind him. Did you notice how I paused the action to describe this new character? Yeah, I'm sure you did. Let's have another go, and this time we'll have the action continue as we describe him. As the teacher called for quiet, the classroom door suddenly swung open, and the new student strode in. He filled the doorway, tall, broad-shouldered, his muscular build impossible to miss. His tie hung loosely around his neck. As he sauntered forward, his ankle-length boots thudded heavily against the floor. His sharp green eyes scanned the room, a flicker of arrogance flashing in them, as if daring anyone to challenge him. Without a word, he sauntered to the back of the class, sinking into his chair with an air of defiance. This time I made sure to continue the action as I described the character. This creates a stronger connection between the character and the environment, which in turn makes it feel more dynamic and immersive. The reader feels as if they too are in the classroom witnessing the arrival of this menacing new student. So, from now on, whenever you are writing a character description, don't hit that pause button on your story. Keep the action going as you describe the character. 
This will help link them to the setting and keep your readers engaged in the flow of the story. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please help my YouTube channel to grow by liking and subscribing. And if you leave a comment, I promise to reply. Finally, if you want some more character description tips, take a look at another of the tutorials I've done in this series. This one, for example. It'll take your story writing to the next level.